What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Today I'm going to talk about the Arduino Motor Shield and specifically the Adafruit Motor Shield. I just got it yesterday, and this baby is cool. Uh, when you first uh, look looking for motor shields, you'll have several options to pick from. For example, we got this guy here, we got this guy here, but the one I will decide to go with is by Motor Shield made by Adafruit. Uh, here it is. When you first click on the first link right here, they're doing a motor shield. This one will come out, and this one is nice, but they only has one, two DC motor potential outputs. So I wanted more, I wanted more than two when I decided, and I found this puppy right here. That, this one right here, which is the Adafruit, and you could go search it. Adafruit, motor sheep. And I should bring you right to their website. And there is, there's the Adafruit Motor Shield. Anyways, I got this guy yesterday. And the reason why I got it was because, as you can see here, we got one, two, three, four potential DC motors. And if you go ahead and click here, the facts. The first question is, how many motors can I use with this shield? Well, there is. You can use up to two DC servos that run on five volts, or up to four DC motors, or two stepper motors. Today, I'm just going to show you how to use the, the the servos and the DCs. I do not have a stepper at the moment. So here we go. I just got it yesterday, and let me show you a quick video of it. And uh, I have my Uno right here. And I got my brand new shiny Arduino Leonardo right here. Unfortunately, found out that the shield does not play well with my Leonardo. I was really bummed out because I really wanted to use the Leonardo. But what can you do? So let's set this guy aside. And we're going to use it way back, all faithful, the Arduino Uno. So this shield just slides the pins fit nicely into the Uno. And then you just go click down. There you go. Perfect. And those two cables, I put them there. It's just so my little. I just put two jumpers, and it has a screw. I'm gonna be using this uh, servo right here, and it's your standard 9G micro servo. There you go. It's G90. It's really lightweight. I love it, and runs on five volts. And then here's your standard 5 volt DC motor. And if you look in the bottom of it, you notice that there's no plus or minus sign. That's because you could use, you can reverse the polarities, no problem. Usually on the bottom it's about a little dimple. And you could make that your positive if you like. But you could use it either way. There's no wrong way to use it. Here's another DC motor that I got. But this one is a little bit more powerful. This one right here in particular, it's uh, 6 to 24 volts, as you can see right here. So I'm going to be using this one. It's a little bit bigger, but I can use the other one too. Okay, let me set this on the side. Before you could use the shield, you need to download the libraries. Now, the Arduino environment that I'm using currently is the 1.0.3. Now, the reason why I'm using this one not, not only it's because the latest, it's because I've been using my Arduino Leonardo. And on this version, there you go, on the, the Arduino Leonardo will pop out. And the older version, which is the Arduino 1.0, oh, does not have the Leonardo in it. So before we can use the shield, we got to go ahead and download the libraries. So here's... Uh, when, you for, when, you're, when you're looking for the shield, you're just going to go ahead and go to this website. And there's multiple websites you could do this. Go ahead, click on download. And then here are the two libraries that are going to be helping you out with any project using the shield from now on. I'm going to go ahead and download the first one. I'm going to click on it. It's going to send me to this website. You could go ahead and open one by one, but no, this see it's an easier way. You see the zip button here? Click it. Press save. And I downloaded this file multiple times already. So what I'm going to do is just going to put it right here on my desktop. Clear this thing now. Um, 
just going to strat everything to my desktop. Here it is. This is my folder. There is my files, my sample file. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename this folder. Let me look at the website. And it tells you what I rename it right here. You see AF Motors. So I'm going to go ahead and rename it. Capital Motor. As soon as that's done, go ahead look for your Arduino lab, um, folder click libraries and I already have it here but what you're gonna do is just come here and drag to your folder and just install it I'm gonna go ahead and do that for you yes Okay, so here's my folder, and the way you make sure it's there is when you go to your files, and you go to samples, you can see F motor, and there's the samples. Okay, beautiful. I was first test out the uh, when you first connect the DC motor in, you should see a green light. On your shield turned on. If it doesn't turn on, you have problems. That's the first thing you got to do. Now, let me just show you the shield real quick. And you see that M1 ground M2 ground M2, and on this side you're gonna have M3 ground M4. And over here you got the servo one and servo two. Now. You so use a small screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, to put your wires in there for that. And uh, this is uh, my servo. It would just go right there nicely. Okay. Now, remember when I said M1, M2? The reason why is because uh, let's first uh, try. Let's just go here and go to the sample. And let's just do your regular sweep. your regular sweep sample and as you can see it says my servo is attached to pane number nine but well, which one on your on your shield you gotta look if you go to your fan and you scroll down down here digital pane number nine is your servo one okay but it's actually inverted it's actually gonna be servo two so 9 is going to be your servo 2, 10 is going to be your servo 1. So I'm going to go ahead and upload it. It's done uploading and it should run. That's just too sweet. It goes back and forth. That's what's called sweet. Okay. Now let's do the uh, now that we test there our servo. Let's test our DC motor. Now for the DC motor, I created the quick program. It's really easy. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna include the the library, the F motor library, the one we just installed. And then you're going to put this first command, the AFDC motor, and see what says 1. Now, remember when I showed you guys on the shield where it says M1, M2, M3. Well, this is what they mean. If you want M2, then M3, M4, that's your, just your location where your DC motor is connected. So my DC motor is connected to M1. Boy, set up, boy. And then this, the first command is to set up the speed. And, you know, obviously the lower, the slower the higher, the fat, the, this is the faster, and it, it goes up to a certain number. And then motor run backwards. You can go ahead and change this to forward, uh, capital, 
forward. So we're going to go ahead and upload this program. Upload. Beautiful. And that's that's the video. That's how uh, it runs. Now, the beautiful thing, going back over here, where it says, how many monitors can I use at the same time? Well, we can use all these at the same time, but on this, I'm just going to show you how to just run a DC motor and a servo at the same time. And this is why I got this shield, because you can run multiple things at the same time. It does have a limit, just read the instructions. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go to my sweep program. Sweep. This is my sweep program. I'm going to use this program. And I'm going to combine it with my DC program. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this library. Well, I'm going to go ahead and, if you want to just add a li import a library. And it just added that library to it. And then I'm going to put this guy right here. And on the void, you don't put, you leave the void alone. And then on the main loop, I'm going to go ahead. Copy this and put it down here. So this should run the servo. It should do a sweep. And at the same time, my DC motor should be running. Okay, so how do I make this? How do I build this? Well, it's, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and put the servo and tape it here to my DC motor. So now, I'm going to go ahead and upload. Once it's done uploading, then this should be my final result. And this guy is how you use and how to set up your Adafruit Modern Shield. Thank you guys. Come back and see me soon.